one of the biggest expenses that we'll ever make is buying an RV. And it's a little scary. How do you know that that's the right RV for you? How do you know that it really fits? Well, you don't unless you're able to try it before you buy it. And that's where a website called Outdoorsy comes in so handy because it has a network of RV owners all across North America who rent out their RVs. You can actually call them up, uh, make arrangements all online, and then you hook up with the, with the owner and you make an agreement to rent that vehicle. That's what we recommend. Before you buy, go out and try several of them, you know, either Class B, Class A, Class C, whatever type of RV you're looking at. Try it for a while. In our interview of the week, we're going to talk to Austin Green from Outdoorsy. And he's going to explain how this is a great deal for those who really want to make sure they make the right buying decision by trying it first. But it's also a good deal for those who own RVs and don't use them all the time. How you can rent out your RVs. Let's listen in. Austin Green. So one of the problems that uh, people have when we say rent a vehicle first go out and rent an RV, make sure you're comfortable with it, is finding one. Uh, most people go straight to a dealership and, and many dealers around the country do indeed have an RV available, but probably just one or two in their rental fleet. And they're often booked up for months, if not a year in advance. So that presents a real challenge unless you use uh, one of these companies that work kind of like VRBO does for vacation rental homes. You can run an RV the same way. And joining us right now to help us understand that is uh, somebody from a company called Outdoorsy. His name is Austin Green, and Austin joins us right now uh, in the back of a Sprinter Galleria from Coachman, I think. How you doing, Austin? I'm doing real well, Mike. Happy to be here. Well, glad to, glad to have you with us. So tell us how you guys can help those people who want to try before they buy. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we started out in the U.S. and Canada, and we have over 30,000 unique vehicles right now between those two locales. So these are all that, you know, vans, class A, B, C, R, Vs, towables, pretty much any vehicle you can imagine in it that, that would fit the adventure vehicle mold. Um, we let these owners make money on, you know, renting out their vehicles to people who are interested in trying out an RV or a van before they are, you know, before they actually go and buy one. So we are the platform, we're the marketplace that helps facilitate that process. And we're helping more people get involved in the van life and the RV life and see what it's like to kind of live the, um, or at least try the kind of American road trip, right? Now, how does this work? Your, your website, outdoorsy.com, and we'll put a link in the in the show notes and in the description here with this video and, and in this interview on our podcast as well. Uh, so I go there and uh, I type in, I want to rent a vehicle. And I type in the location, right? That's, that's a good start. And then what happens? Yeah. So you can go in and type in a location or it'll just geolocate to where your IP address is and it will show you all the rentable vehicles within that area. Again, we have tons of things, anything from RVs to vans to teardrop trailers. Basically, once you're on the platform, you find the vehicle that you like for the price point you like. You can request a booking. The owner will receive a notification immediately. You'll communicate back and forth. We facilitate a lot of that communication as well. And once everything is worked out, you go pick up the keys directly from the owner. There's a trade-off. They'll give you a walkthrough of the vehicle, how everything works, and they'll send you on your way. And uh, it can be anywhere from a nightly trip to a month-long trip. It's really the flexibility is there for you know, these folks to really do whatever they want. So you can, you, it will automatically know where you are based on your IP address as you log on. But for example, I just was thinking about maybe doing a quick trip flying out to Yellowstone before it freezes up. And I, I jumped in and I said, well, I'd have to fly out there, but I want to rent an RV. And I, I typed in Jackson, Wyoming, and bam, there were like a dozen of them there that, that uh, would, would meet our needs really well. So I'm really impressed with how easy it is to find one. Take me to the part with the owner, however. How do you know that this vehicle is safe? You know, it's, uh, you're dealing one-on-one -on -one with somebody, but I, you know, you're maybe renting it long distance, so you don't have a chance to inspect it. How do you know it's safe? 
So that's the one of the coolest things about Outdoorsy is we actually provide all of the insurance for these vehicles and we vet everyone who uploads their vehicle to Outdoorsy. We also make sure that all the renters have a valid driver's license. The average star rating for our owners and renters is over four and a half stars. So we definitely vet everyone that's using our platform and we're making sure that everything Thing is in place so that you know users can have a safe journey but also that owners are not you know risking their vehicle when they're renting it out for the insurance piece we provide up to a million dollars in liability insurance for every approved rental and then on top of that we also provide two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in comprehensive and collision as well so you're safe knowing that Outdoorsy has your back. We have our own claims department as well. So owners can make claims if something is damaged along the trip and we'll help them throughout that process, making sure that they're taken care of. So the one-on-one -on -one dealing though is with the owner of the RV, if I'm a renter. So I call, say it's you and I say, hey Austin, I wanna rent that, that uh, Coachman Galleria that you're in right now for a week. Uh, where does it go from there? Take me through a typical uh, rental uh, process. Yeah, so you'll communicate with the owner via our platform. You know, we can help with the text messaging side. A lot of that goes through our platform. You can directly message on the Outdoorsy platform as well on your computer. Um, as soon as you all come to an agreement on the dates, and we help with that booking process as well. So there's a calendar where you can select the dates. The owner can approve that it's available for those dates. The pricing is there. So you, users basically put in a deposit and they go and they f meet with the owner and then there's the key handoff. So they'll walk you again through the vehicle. They'll make sure you're ready to go and that you have all the information you need. A lot of them actually have a YouTube channel as well and they have instructional videos on how to use their vehicle. We definitely have some pros among our audience that really do a good job of that handoff process. And we really like the personal aspect of that as well, because we want like-minded folks helping each other get involved and used to the industry. So once that's done, users can take the vehicle really wherever they want. Um, usually the way it works is I think the average rental stays within like a 300 mile proximity, but there's really no limitations. You can take it wherever you want. Um, once you're done with the rental, you take it back to the owner. Some owners will actually go pick it up if you want to drop it off somewhere or drop it off to you if you don't want to drive the vehicle itself. And then from there, you know, if there's no, no issues, then you're done and you can, you know, go and, and do another one whenever you're ready. So uh, my recommendation to people is, uh, you know, try them all. Try a Class B camper van. Try that Galleria you're in there in the Sprinter or try a Pleasure Way or a Road Trek. And then you've tried three Class Bs. Maybe do a weekend in all of them. Try a Class C. See how you like that. And uh, they get a chance to actually try it, to, to work it through in a campground, to see how the galley works. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a great way to really understand whether the RV lifestyle is really for them. Now, I'm also curious on the other end of this, Austin Green from Outdoorsy, and that is um, I'm an owner and I've got an RV and it sits in my driveway, you know, half to three quarters of the year. I could be making money with that. Exactly. And that's actually part of the reason we really started Outdoorsy. Some of our founders who actually lived in an Airstream doing market research before they founded a comp the company, um, they realized that there are over 13 million RVs in North America that sit unused 350 days out of the year. And it's almost kind of like when you buy a boat. Some people are like, well, there's two great days of buying a boat, the day you sell it and the day you buy it. Well, we wanted to make you know people who own these valuable assets we wanted to offer them a way to make money as opposed to just sitting collecting dust in their in their garage. So what we did is with Outdoorsy, we're giving these folks the opportunity to make up to 3200 bucks a month just renting out their vehicle. Really? So it's a great yeah, yeah, it's a great way is to to earn a supplemental income and we've actually had folks among our platform that maybe they're early retirees or they work part-time. They've actually turned Outdoorsy into a full-time job where they started out with one vehicle, were renting it out, realized, you know what, this is something I enjoy, this is something that we can scale. And we actually have folks who have bought additional RVs and rent them out full time and make a living doing so. Really, there is that much interest in a rental RV? There really is. The RV industry, as I'm sure you're well aware, is really booming. There are a lot of people that are ready to get outside and, and try kind of an alternative travel um, you know, lifestyle. And, and we're excited about that. We are those types of folks as well. And, you know, we want to make, we want to make the outdoors more accessible.
So back to me being a renter, and I have rented this vehicle that I'm going to take to Yellowstone, and I get up there, and all of a sudden it starts to snow, and I turn on the heater, and it doesn't work. What do I do then? Who's got my back in that situation? So we actually offer 24-7 roadside assistance through, uh, I believe it's CoachNet for all of our rentals as well. It's an opt-in that renters can choose. So if something happens along those lines and you know they contact the owner and you know the owner can't walk them through how to fix it in that specific moment, we do have the protection with that 24/7 roadside assistance where they'll come out, <clears throat> excuse me, they'll come out and they'll help you get set up and even tow you if you need. Wow, uh, well, it sounds like it's pretty foolproof and uh, it's a great way to, uh, to really save a lot of aggravation, make sure you get the right RV. And it sounds like a great way to make some money. So we'll put uh, links to all of this, Austin, on uh, the website uh, or on our websites and on our show notes for this. But uh, the website that you who are looking to rent an RV or maybe you're looking to rent yours, it's called outdoorsy.com. Austin Green, you've been our guest. Thank you so much for uh, helping us understand this new process. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. All right. Thank you, Austin Green. That's the interview of the week. Now, complete details on the interview can be found in the show notes for this episode of the RV podcast and in the description for our RV Lifestyle YouTube channel video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, look on the show notes for this episode because we have a complete transcript of everything you just heard from our guests.